Hello otters, hope you're all doing well out there today. Today I'm gonna to read How Do Dinosaurs Choose Their Pets? by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. How does a dinosaur pick out his pet? Does he go on the prowl with a stick in a net? Does he head to the zoo and take home a big cat? And what does his mom have to say about that? Does she drag a huge elephant back in a wagon with both its long trunk and its wee tail a dragon? Or speaking of dragons, does she go acquire a high-flying beastie who loves to breathe fire? Does he pick out a boa constrictor for play? Does it look at his dog in a very odd way? Does he sneak an iguana inside of a cap? Or lead home a kangaroo by a long strap? Does he ask for a manatee, maybe a whale, or wish for a shark he can keep in a pal? Does she carry off tortoises, zebras, a mink, giving them hay and a cola to drink? Is that what you think? No. A dinosaur doesn't. She knows what to do, and she never brings anything home from the zoo. He goes to a shelter or pet store or farm. To find a small creature who will do no harm. He brings home a kitten or hamster or pup that he can teach manners as they both grow up. She cares for her pet and gives love even more. Big hugs to your friend, little dinosaur. That's the end of the story. From what I hear, a lot of people are getting pets these days as a way to pass the time and experience something new. My daughter, she asked me for some chickens and in this moment of weakness, I caved. So pretty soon I'll have some chickens as a pet. So that's what I've got going on. Any new pets for you? I can't wait to hear about them next time I see you. Take care.